one of the biggest challenges when using network emulators or network simulators like GNS3, even G, Cisco CMA, or even PNet Lab, is that as your network topology starts to grow, it's going to start consuming also more resources from your host, meaning you're going to see an increase on CPU and RAM consumption. Well, it looks like there is an alternative to deploy larger and complex topologies, but still consuming less resources than the traditional way. And this can be achieved by using containerization more precisely, Container Labs. Container Lab is a tool that allows you to deploy network topologies by using code. And what do I mean by code? Let me show you. Okay, we're going to install Container Lab on this Ubuntu machine and we're going to use a step-by-step -step instruction here that's going to show us how to uh, deploy these topologies. As you can see, uh, there are three switches and two clients. And this is a pre-built lab, by the way. So all you have to do is to make sure that you have enough resources. So at the minimum, two virtual CPUs and six gig of RAM. So to install container labs, we also have to install Dockers, but all of these will be installed at once. So all we have to do is to, uh, let's go to terminal. So I'm just going to use uh, root account. Okay, so first thing I want to do is to install curl. Yes, let's make sure. Okay, so I'm going to download and install this. Okay, that's complete. So now I'm going to copy this and this is going to install container labs and dockers as well. Okay, so once it completes, we're going to continue. Okay, it looks like the installation is completed. We can check that by running docker minus V. Yes, it's installed. And what about container lab? Yeah, it's installed as well. Okay, that's great. So let's just open another directory here. And now uh, we're going to download this pre-built topology so that we can take a look at it. So deploying the lab, I'm just going to copy this and paste here on my downloads folder. So it's going to start downloading and building this lab topology. Okay, the lab is deployed and we can see what was downloaded to this directory. So we can see this as our Linux getting started folder. So if we Okay, inside this directory and we can see a couple more files there okay now we're supposed to see all of these uh five devices just like it shows here in the topology right three switches and two clients and we can actually log in to these devices now and if you follow the procedure here like it says ssh leaf one and if we try leaf one so it's going to ask for a password and in the document it doesn't show uh, what is the password what is the username okay and in order to log in or to find out the username and the password if we look at these uh directories uh and we go to c lab so let's take a look so for instance uh more and let's go to ansible inventory uh, here we can see, okay, in order to log into those devices, these are the credentials, okay? Admin and this password, okay? I'm just going to copy this and just use the text editor, okay? So admin, okay, so those are the credentials that we can use to ssh to these switches so if i type now ssh admin at leaf one and paste the password there now i'm inside the switch and this is uh like a nokia switch or sr linux switch and we can run some commands like uh ping uh let's see let's use network instance management 2022 and three so we can run some commands there 
and also like show version or you can also run so show interfaces i believe that's show interface yeah that's it and again this is a different uh, operating system and you can take your time and to understand how it works well so that's it for these topologies and the way it works let me see so that should be this one so how it builds this topology is by uh if we take a look at this yaml file so this is essentially what tells okay how do we want this to be built and we can see like we have uh, here a couple of nodes right leaf one leaf two and spine one uh the image that's going to be used the type of image and also for clients the type kind just mean the type in this case linux and uh, assign an ip address to the client okay and then how those devices those nodes they are going to be connected okay so all of this is done just by using this file okay and there are other uh complex topologies like this other one so let's download uh, git con and i'm going to download this one okay so it's around telemetry okay and we can deploy this lab by running the command uh container lab deploy minus t s t c lab yaml oh, i have to add my username to this group i to copy go to this directory done so now let me run again so it's going to start pulling the images uh, for this lab now if you notice that it's taking some time uh, just be patient because it's actually uh, running so if you look at the resource system resources uh, depending on your system you should see that this is going to probably reach 100 percent in my case i have four cpus so it's going to take some time okay so just be patient and don't interrupt this process okay i got an error here so containers leave to you spine one kind two kind one leaf already exist okay i'm just going to add reconfigure and it's going to try to deploy again okay the lab is deployed and before we log in uh let's see should have okay so this is the public directory so this is the lamp just deployed and this one has uh five switches with three clients and we can also see here grafana so i actually want uh, to access instead of the switch we want to log into grafana and they should have the page here yes i'm just going to log into grafana now and we should see uh let's go to dashboards network telemetry okay and so we have these the lab built and already deployed with uh grafana integration and you can kind of see uh the current status of the network this and it's, it's quite useful and you can see it's not consuming uh, a lot of resources so now my cpu is around uh 50 less percent and also in terms of memory so around 60 percent and i have what one three so probably five so if i go back it should be what not five but uh it's five eight so probably 11 devices and still running smoothly okay now what if we don't want to run these uh live topologies because these are just examples what if we want to build our one especially if you want to build cisco devices well in this case you have to take some time and go over uh container lab documentation as they explain in greater detail how you can achieve those kind of things but 
Let's just see an example on how to deploy a small lab with one Cisco switch. Okay, so first we need to get the Cisco images and uh, the instructions on how to do it, it's actually on this document, okay? So if you have Cisco CML, you can get the images from Cisco CML ISO file, okay? In my case, I have these files, so I'm just going to create a new directory here download uh, so called Cisco lab okay I got the Cisco images and now I'm going just to open terminal and I want to clone this uh, uh, git repository into this same directory so and now I'm going to copy these two files to cisco iol i'm just going to paste it here and i have to change the name of these files so so one of the images is layer 3 and the other one is layer 2 so i have to change to this format so let's go so this is layer 2 no this is the one yeah this is layer 3 so I have to change this, the version I believe is 17.5.1 and I'm going to rename this and the other one so it has to be Cisco IOL L2 and that's going to be um, as well uh, 17.15.1 dot b okay okay so i have these two files with this name so now uh, i have to run this command make docker image and i have to do it as a pseudo so i'm going to use i think cost this one and uh, let's see where i am so downloads this code we are net Cisco IOL. Yes, I can run the command docker image. Okay, and it's completed. So now we can validate whether we have the images and we sure have it. So Cisco IOL layer two image, and this one is the layer three. And if you want to test those images, I uh, can just copy this code. Let's go to this editor and I'm just going to uh, replace the tag there with this one. Okay, and I'm going to save this on Cisco Lab. So actually, it has to be, let's call this Lab1 C Lab uh, YAML. Okay, and we should be able to run that. Okay, so we can see lab one, see lab. So now let's deploy this container lab minus T lab one. Okay, and looks like it was deployed successfully. So we can validate whether it's reachable or not. So by default, when we deploy a uh, topology, uh, it's going to create a management interface and it's going to assign an IP address to the node and we can see it's available now. So if we try to SSH, uh, the question will be, okay, how do we know how to SSH? What is the username, the password? Okay, so it's created now a new directory C lab my lab so I'm just going to uh, can I zoom in this a little bit no I can't what about this no I can't anyway so let's just get inside this directory so C lab and if we take a look at Norni file you're going to see okay to log into this node this is the credential okay admin admin Okay, so admin at 172.72.20.2 and because I used this before, I'm just going to remove this, paste 
yes and try to log in again yes and that should be admin okay so this is a layer 3 uh, router so we can change the host name okay we can assign an ip address for like 2.6811 okay enable eigp okay so just like we would do uh, using another network uh, simulator network emulator okay so i can log out and destroy this lab um okay, let me just type uh, container lab um destroy minus t and now yes so container lab destroy minus t oh lab one okay so now let's try to build another one using the layer two image okay that's going to change the tag here to be this one layer two and i'm going to move this oops too much yes and i also want to change something here so that's going to be my lab two okay and it's going to change here to lab two and save this file so now you should see two lab files right lab 2 so let's try to deploy this container lab deploy minus 2 okay and look it's running 2020 so let's give it a couple seconds so that the node uh starts running unfortunately this node doesn't want to run now and for some strange reason that i can't understand or explain as most of the things on linux sometimes it works sometimes it just doesn't work and you have to figure out anyway um this was my attempt on building network topology using code um obviously you can then dive deeper into container lab documentation and understand how to connect things how to build things uh but man this is my take on this one uh, i'd like to know your thoughts in case you are more advanced one or you want to dive deeper into building network topologies using code if you took value from this video don't forget to subscribe hit the like button and i'll see you in the next one